Who are you going to trust? The people who have lied to you or made terrible mistakes, because it's not fair to portray them all as dishonest. Or the people who've turned out much to their own horror to be right. That's the question. You have people who didn't understand what the single market was, who didn't understand what the customs union was, who didn't understand what the four freedoms were, who didn't understand the importance and the relevance of the British border in Ireland, who didn't understand uh, just-in-time supply chains, who didn't understand why the Japanese car companies were warning that they would have to leave in the event of no deal or in the event of uh, continuing uncertainty, the people who poo-poo what the National Farmers Union have to say, the people who poo-poo what the CBI have to say, the people who poo-poo what the Bank of England has to say, the people who poo-poo what the Office of Budget Responsibility has to say, the people who poo-poo the Treasury's own forecasts on what will happen in the event of the various different Brexits. So you've got all of that, that, those people there who've been wrong about everything are claiming that they understand what WTO terms means and that all the people who've been right about everything don't have a scooby-doo what WTO terms means. And that really is where I am this morning, in a, in a, in a state of... I don't know what you'd call. I don't know quite what you'd call it. No, it's, a, it's an almost zen-like befuddlement. It's a kind of almost rising above the mess and looking down and trying to unravel it. Because I honestly think that a significant swathe of the population will continue to trust the people who have been shown to be wrong, rather than now finally turn to the people who've been shown to be right. <laughs>